So the Pentagon has reaffirmed its commitment to protecting reproductive health care for service members. Our Lauren Tom spoke with a Bay Area veteran who knows firsthand what's at stake. When Dr. Eileen Freibauers entered the Navy, she was told she would sacrifice much more than her time in service to the military. On the other hand, you're also told that in return, the military is going to take care of you, that the United States is going to provide for your safety, your security, and that they're going to provide um, good routine health care for you because that's how you're going to be able to continue to finish uh, fulfill your mission um, as a service member. But today that care hangs in the balance of a Capitol Hill dispute over the military's commitment to providing reproductive health care for female service members. And as the dean of the USF nursing school and mom of two, Fry Bowers knows firsthand the significance of women's health care for active duty service members. The consequence is then that one or in dual couples, you know, one or both may choose to leave the military, which is really unfortunate. Mission readiness is at stake, Pentagon leaders say, as Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville holds out on confirming key military nominations until the Defense Department reverses its abortion policy that provides leave and reimbursement costs for service members who must travel for the procedure. More than 100 military bases reside in states where abortion access has become restricted in the wake of Roe v. Wade overturned by the Supreme Court, prompting concern among service members about their own access to the procedure. That's a little frustrating when, um, you know, policies continue to be directed um, without thought about the impact um, on our female service members. But the Pentagon is standing firmly by its policy. Earlier this month, National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby maintained that such care is an obligation to all service members. And it matters because it says we're invested in you because you are being willing to invest in us. You're investing your life your family's livelihood with us, we owe you that, that back in return. According to the Defense Department, 91 abortions were performed in military medical facilities over a five-year span from 2016 to 2021, and only for cases of rape or incest or when the life of the mother is at risk. And Freibauer says the policy comes down to morale. It's putting the the power back in the hands of the individual service member to determine what works best for them in their um, normal um, human desire to form a family. Um, and I think that's, that's really important just for the morale of our military. Um, we, we want service members that um, feel like whole people. The long-term consequences could be severe, she says, but for now she's proud to stand behind the Pentagon leaders who are set on preserving access to reproductive health. If Tuberville doesn't release his hold, 650 officers could be held back from promotion by the end of the year.